Subtract a two-digit number from its reverse. It will always be a multiple of nine. This video attempts to extend Y's video on the same subject with a couple of visual proofs. I've linked his video in the comments. Check it out. Let's look at two possible proofs. The first is geometric. Let's take 85 minus 58, which is 27 or 3 times 9. What's a way to visualize this? Draw 85 squares, 10 squares wide, then 58 squares. Now since this is 5 and this is 5, why don't we move them to be aligned? It feels geometrically pleasing. Maybe that's a sign we're making progress. And repeat with the 8s here. And now we basically represent 80 minus 8 minus 50 plus 5. These parts on the right annihilate each other, and that's how you get a width of 9. Then the 10 digits annihilate each other, and you're left with the product of 3 times 9. Let's replay this animation, but this time keep everything on screen. Basically, the right and bottom cancel out, and the result is the rectangle in the top left. Other examples, here's 74 minus 47, 96 minus 69, 21 minus 12, and 90 minus 9. The second uses this number grid of 100 digits from 0 to 99. Pick any number that's a multiple of 11, like 44. Obviously, 44 minus 44 is 0. If we then go up to 45, you can see all the numbers between the two rings, 54 and 45, which is 9. What's interesting is we can keep going up to 46, then 47, and this being 10 wide means each time this ring goes up, we increase the numbers in between by 10. But this ring keeps going to the right, which subtracts 1 each time. Same process if you go down below 44. And it's the same if we start at 55, or 66, or 33. Anyways, can you think of any other proofs? Let me know in the comments.